Hi children. Today we are going to discuss seventh class general science new syllabus of AP State Government fifth lesson motion and time. Let's start. Improve your learning. Fill in the blanks. Units of speed is meter per second. If your body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, it is said to be dash motion, uniform motion. Which motion? Uniform motion. 6 minutes dash seconds. 3600 seconds because of each minute have 60 seconds. That's why 60 minutes into 60 seconds is equal to 3600 seconds. Average speed is equal to total distance travel by dash. Total time taken to travel. Total time to taken travel. Okay. ISRO stands for ISRO means Indian Space Research Organization So Geostationary satellites are used for dash purpose. Geostationary satellites are used for communication purpose. Which purpose? Communication purpose. Okay. Next, choose the correct answers. The correct relation between speed, distance and time is a. Speed is equal to distance by time. B. Speed is equal to time by distance. C. Time is equal to speed by distance. D. Distance is equal to speed by time. The answer is A. Speed is equal to distance by time. What is common in the following? Motion of the Propeller of a flying helicopter, the hands of a watch, motion of a giant wheel. A. All are examples of translatory motion. B. All are examples of escalatory motion. C. All are examples of rotatory motion. D. A and C. The answer is C. All are examples of rotatory motion. Here, which of the following is not an oscillatory motion? A. Motion of the hammer of an electric bell. Motion of your hands while running. C. Motion of a child on a seesaw. D. Motion of a horse pulling a cart. The answer is D. Motion of a horse pulling a cart. Which of the following statements is not correct? A. The basic unit of time is second. Every object's motion is uniform. C. 1 km per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meters per second. D. Speed is expressed in kilometer per hour. Which is not correct statement? Yes. B. Every object's motion is a uniform. This is the wrong answer. Next. Matching. A. Rotatory motion. B. Oscillatory motion. C. Translatory motion. D. 100 years. E. 10 years. 1. Rockets. 2. A train entering into a railway station. 
3. Movement of needle in a sewing machine. 4. Decay. 5. Movement of hands in a wristwatch. 6. Century. So, first one, rotatory motion. Rotatory motion means movement of your hands in a wrist watch is in rotatory motion. That's why you wrote here 5. Oscillatory motion. Oscillatory motion means movement of your needle in a swing motion. So, you wrote here 3. Translatory motion. Translatory motion means a train entering into your railway station is in translatory motion. 100 years means, yes, 100 years means century. 10 years means a decade. These are the matching. Now, we are going to answer the following questions. First question, the distance between two stations is 240 kilometers. A train takes 4 hours to cover this distance. Calculate the speed of the train minute per second. Distance between two stations is equal to 240 kilometers. Time taken to cover the distance, 4 hours. We know that speed is equal to distance by time. So you wrote 240 kilometers per hour. 4 hours is equal to 60 kilometers per hour. 60 by 5 by 18 is equal to 16.66 meters per second. That's why 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meters. Second question, can an object possess translatory and rotatory motion at the same time? Give an example. Yes, an object can possess both translatory and rotatory motion at the same time. Example, the cycle tire moving in a straight line possesses both translatory and rotatory motion. Rolling ball on a flat ground also possesses both translatory and rotatory motion. Third question. In a swing machine used by Thales, mention the type of motion of its spots when it runs. A. The wheel. B. The needle. C. The clock. Answer. In a swing machine, Motion of its spots when it runs, the wheel is in rotatory motion, the needle is in oscillatory motion, the cloth is in linear motion. Fourth question, write the motion of different parts of a bicycle while it is in motion. A. The wheels. B. The cycle chains. C. The pedal with its arm. D. The movement of the rider along with the bicycle. While a bicycle is in motion, the wheels are in ro rotatory motion, the motion of cycle chain is in rotational, the motion of pedal with its arm is in rotational, the movement of the rider along with the bicycle is in translatory motion. Fifth question. John tied a stone to a string and wrilled it around. What type of motion do you observe? We observe rotatory motion. The motion of stone follows a curved path with John's thumb and forefinger has a fixed center. What are uniform and non-uniform motions? Give four examples for each type of motions. Uniform motion. If your body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, then the body is said to be in uniform motion. Example, movement of hands of your clock, rotation of earth, revolution of moon around the earth, the fan in air cooler running at fixed speed, Revolution of earth around the sun, blades of a propeller. These are the uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. If your body covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time, it is said to be an in 
non uniform motion example a boy cycling in a crowded place movement of house fly a train entering or leaving a railway station the motion of the object thrown up into air running horse a car coming to a halt a bus on a hill track these are an uniform motion seventh question your friend told you the motion of a rocket is fast motion will you agree how can you decide whether the motion of your body is slow or fast yes i agree the motion of a rocket is fast motion the two main factors to decide whether the motion is slow or fast are distance traveled and time taken generally a rocket covers more distance in a given in travel of time compared to other objects so motion of rocket is fast motion eighth question how can you appreciate the clocks and watches in measuring or estimating time sundial sand clock water clock etc are used to primitively to measure the time stock clocks helps to measure pulse rate nowadays we find stock clocks almost in all cell phones these are the question and answers of fifth question motion and time thank you children watching my videos stay tuned my channel and share your friends to subscribe my channel take care